This bout is brought to you by Intimidation Clothing. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the flyweight division. And your referee once again will be Jerry Chris. Introducing first in the blue corner, he's a freestyle fighter standing five feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 133.5 pounds. He has a record of one win with no losses and that one win coming by way of knockout. He's an independent fighter coming to you from Solon, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, TJ Duran. And his opponent in the red corner. He's a Taekwondo fighter standing five feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 132 pounds and he's making his MMA debut. Coming from Schwartz's School of Taekwondo. He's out of Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan. Leviathan Kaufman! TJ Duran 1-0 in his amateur MMA career with the half-white, half-black trunks. And John Kaufman making his MMA debut in the white trunks with the black and red trim. They'll get after it. This one could end very quickly. We've seen what TJ Duran can do. Um, before they touch gloves and get after it, though, Nick, it's important to get with the gym. And Duran's still an independent fighter. Yeah. He's so impressive, you'd think he'd have caught on with somebody by now. Oh, my God. And he just did a, a wrestling. It's called a Metzger. And uh, right now, you know, he's, he knows he's going up against a Taekwondo fighter which, with some crazy kicks. But, uh-oh, he's, he's in a tough. That was a scary uh, arm bar that he was caught in. Yeah, almost got caught in, just picked him up and slammed yeah, him. Yeah, he used his power and got got through it. And now TJ Duran wants nothing to do with the mat. He's gonna back up no. and make John Kaufman come to him. They'll touch yeah. gloves John again. John Kaufman is a Taekwondo footer, so you gotta worry about these big uh, explosive kicks. And there's one down to the yeah. leg and a big okay. kick there from TJ Duran as well as they exchange, get oh, back after it, a nice takedown. A, a lateral drop, uh, he's a classic wrestler, but, to, but can throw strikes. Like I said, you really got to watch for T.J. Duran. He is uh, an up-and-coming fighter, and he's so freaking young. And especially when he gets uh, tutelage from a, a good camp, he oh, is uh, he's going to be unstoppable. Yeah, you're right. He's, he could be somebody special for sure. As we see him trying to move out of the guard now, but John Coffin did a good job of keeping him there. Duran's so elusive and so athletic, he can just flip right over your legs before you even knew it happened. Now almost lost his yeah, arm Coffin again. Coffin is there. going for another arm bar, and Duran is in a little bit of trouble right now. He's trying to hold on yeah, to his wrist so Coffin careful. can't straighten the arm out. Now, this is another thing. Although he's so athletic, so explosive, so good at strikes, you know what? Your elbow, he's in trouble. Oh, my gosh. And he just muscled his he way out of another of arm bar. However, I don't know how many times you could do that in one fight. He's going to have to be careful. And Duran telling him, stand up, yeah, Coffin. He wants to go. He wants to go on his feet. And Duran does a good, or uh, they both touch gloves. He's doing a little Taekwondo kicks. Ooh, it comes a knee. And Duran just missed with a right hand there. You could tell he wants to get inside and start trading some blows. Yeah, Duran's got to keep his hands up. I think I think Duran right now is res is really respecting Kaufman's submission because... Well, he better because he almost got yeah, submitted twice, twice in that armbar. It took just pure, unadulterated strength to get out of both of those. And now Duran right back down in the guard of Kaufman on the mat. And that's a good idea by Duran is pull him down here. And he might, you know, he's doing this butterfly guard. Duran is obviously, uh, or uh, I mean, Kaufman is not only good at Taekwondo, but he definitely has ground skills too. Certainly, we've seen him already almost, almost have two submissions and uh, looks very comfortable working out of the guard here as TJ Duran trying to improve his position. But Kaufman doing a good job of keeping him locked in tight against his chest in that guard. Not able to do much there unless he can create some separation. Now you see Duran trying yep. to stand up on one foot. Got yep. up on it too, but he's got to watch his arms again. That's exactly where he again, lost him last or, time. And he's got to watch a triangle choke right here too. Uh, oh, Kaufman is, is slick on the ground. Oh, And they're going to stand him back up with okay. 10 seconds to go here in the first round. Yeah, we're probably down to five seconds. Maybe one big, nice big right hand. And a good slam him. there. <laughs> TJ Duran caught the leg and then yeah. just pushed him straight onto his right back. Yeah. And, and you know what? Duran was the aggressor. There really wasn't a whole lot of damage done to either side, but I think that round's got to go to TJ Duran just for being basically so controlling aggressive. the action. He controlled everything, and TJ Duran is jumping around. You know, it's weird. He's got nobody in his corner yet. Uh, you know, that's what's scary about being an independent fighter is you don't get to see those arm bars every day. You know, if you're if you're fighting a great jiu-jitsu guy at practice every day, you're going to get in our bar situations. And thank God, TJ is so athletic and explosive that he's getting out. However, in a 
like an elite level guy is going to be able to sink that in. He's not going to be able to get away with strength a little yeah. bit further. Here we got the replay, and I think this is where he's going to. Yeah, he's going to catch that kick with a big right hand right on the butt. Perfect. And, he, and, he, and what he did there was actually a combo through a punch and anticipated the, yeah. the reactionary kick, caught yep. it with a left hand and landed the right hook. And that was really the biggest shot of the entire round. And I don't know how much damage it did to Kossman, but it certainly won the round. Yeah, I, I would say three takedowns to none. Uh, what Kossman's got in his, in his favor is two pretty good submission attempts. You know, uh, he did have two uh, two arm bars pretty pretty tight. Here we go in round number two of this 135 pound Roctagon elite division bout. TJ Duran, 1-0 and in his MMA career in the white and black trunks. John Kaufman in his MMA debut in the white trunks with the black and red trim. First Ooh, round, we both agree with Duran. Kick, right and a very nice belly. kick. And that looked like it did a little bit of damage to Duran yeah. as well. He didn't expect that one. Taekwondo spinning back kick. And then as he was Ooh, backing nice up, he caught a right hand. Beautiful. But TJ Duran with just a monster oh. slam. And he's he's right on top of you again. Yeah. And now he's in the mountain. This is this is how it is. It's just an onslaught. You can't sleep for one second. And he's trying, he was, for a second, was trying to work the arm of Kaufman there. But he's going to go back to trying to create some separation, trying to pin down one of those arms so he can throw some punches. Yeah, no, uh, Kaufman did a good job of getting back in the half guard, but that that headlock, you know, any judo guy, any wrestler is going to say that was a sick headlock. It's just beautiful. His technique is so good, and credit to Kaufman, he's got him back down in the butter, butterfly guard. And right where he caught him almost twice yeah. with and that arm bar, he's trying he's to do it again. He's his legs up, and um, like I said, you know we're all over TJ and he's so good, but it could it could end in a second with uh, with an armbar from Dur uh, Kaufman. Now Kaufman staying on his back, and he uh, looks like he might have caught Duran a little bit low there in the southern region. Duran still fighting on. He's just going to pace around and and make the referee stand Kaufman back up. This is definitely where Duran wants to be. Yeah. Going to try to come in and deliver some damage. Remember, caught him with that right hand, Ooh, and there you go. Right hand just just nipped Ooh. him with one there. But that uh, knee to the belly, obviously. Oh, it hurt. And hurt him bad, and now Duran, Duran is, is hurt. Duran is hurt. Duran's in trouble here. Yeah. He's going to have to just try to lock up and ride Ooh. this one out. And, and this is actually the worst thing for Kaufman to do because he had a ton, of, a ton of damage done on Duran, and Duran yes, looked as though he couldn't even stand up anymore. Now, well, he's looking for an omoplata, and Duran is sort of fighting it. But you're, you're absolutely right. Uh oh, this is a t okay. Caught the arm for a second, but Duran was able Duran to get out. Safe. And it looks he's as though Duran's found his bearings a little bit after that onslaught he took there. Yeah, he uh, he covered up and obviously was hurt. And Kaufman I, should have stayed on his feet I, there. I, I, yeah, I don't know why Kaufman tried to pull guard, and I really disagree with that choice. So, Back on the feet they go, but this is uh, where Kaufman just was able to rock him. Caught yeah. him with a knee to the belly that dazed him a little bit, and then a big right hand as they stood up out of that. Kaufman, a very dangerous fighter, and he slowed down the pace of TJ Duran. Yeah. Oh, and another big knee to the, knee to the belly, belly again. And the belly is what's hurting him. I think, uh, you know, those, those uh, stomach shots are hurting uh, TJ Duran. And now you can see he's very conscious of him and right yeah. there. Went all out to try to block it, but a spinning takedown again, and Duran right back on top of him. Yeah, I don't think right now, you know, at the beginning of the fight, you're like, T TJ just wants to come back to his feet and keep boxing. I think he wants no part of that anymore. I think right now he's going to be happy to just, uh, you know, ground and pound and uh, end the fight. Ten We're seconds to, to go ten here seconds in the Kaufman second round. Looking for an omoplata, okay? Uh, he got his arm out. And Duran now just yeah. going to try to ride this thing out to the end of the second round. But what a change of pace here as TJ Duran dominated round number one. But John Kaufman comes roaring back in round number two. And both these fighters' corners have to tell him, look, you got to end it here in the third because we don't want this thing to go to the cards and no. go either way. Both guys are in for a big fight. You know, the athleticism and power and explosion from TJ is awesome. But, you know, the technique from Kaufman is, uh, you know, matching every bit of that. Big fan of the tattoos on the lovely jacks that ring. Yes, yes, I could. Uh, I wasn't looking at it. I was thinking of my wife the whole time. But uh, now that you mention it, those were sort of sexy and hot. Here we go. Back to the replay as Duran misses right. with the right hand. This is really Here's where things change. Shot. Right there, Big knee. Right in and that shook him. You can see Duran a little bit rattled. Caught him with another knee. And then as they stand up here all the way, Kaufman catches yep. him with that right hand, and that really dazed him. And you yep. can see if he stays on his feet, Duran, I don't think he even knows where he's at at that no, point. No, no. Yeah, he's hurting right now. And thank God, I don't know why Kaufman pulled guard. He should have uh, kept, 
kept going with the strikes because TJ was definitely in trouble right there. Very big trouble, but was able to escape it, outlast the second round, and now it looks as though it's one round apiece. Both fighters a little bit winded. We head to this third and final round. And I know you get to interview him at the end. Ask him if those uh, two knees to the belly hurt, if if he is indeed the winner that you I think, get to. I think the knees, one, one way or the other, no matter who wins, are going to probably be the storyline. But we'll find out as they head to the third and final round. 135-pound Roktagon Elite Division matchup. TJ Duran in the black and white trunks. John Kaufman in the white with black red trim. And now Duran going right back at it, and they go down to the mat. And he's doing a good job of getting his chin out. But you saw Duran there, very weary of the knees coming into the yep. midsection. Got he away. Definitely, uh, you know, covered his midsection a lot more this time. And he definitely went for the takedown. He didn't He didn't mess around. Was able to land a left hand there was Duran as he's working from the guard of Kaufman again. Really got to watch his arms. We've seen him almost get caught in a couple arm bars yep. here in the first couple rounds. Moves into side guard, or excuse me, half guard. Yeah. Like I said, Kaufman's technique is good. Right there, that butterfly guy, it, it really just, okay. Side control now yeah. for TJ Duran. This is where he could be dangerous. If he's able to pin down one of your arms, he is a mammoth with the ground and pound. Okay. Kaufman keeping him very close, and he actually able to pull him right back Kaufman into the guard. Slick. Kaufman is very slick. He's a, a game fighter. Oh, and he almost had an elevator uh, reversal, but the wrestling skills of, uh, you know, TJ just, you know, overpowered that. Just too too good, too quick. Okay, we're looking, oh, he was going for a little Americana or a Kimura. And this is a tight, this is a tight triangle. Yes, Very it tight. is. And there's the and tap, it it's over. Tight. John Kaufman set him up for two and a half rounds and finally pulled the trigger on it. Kaufman wow. Wow. gets the wow. victory wow. with a triangle choke. Unbelievably wow. impressive there is John Kaufman. I'll tell you what, just bide his time for two and a half rounds. Kept putting TJ Duran in the same position over yep. and over again. Duran gave him the arm three times, almost got triangled once before, and it just took him being that tired, not being able to get out. And you see it, here we go. You can see how tired Duran is yep. there. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for these two MMA warriors. In a back and forth, very competitive fight. This bout comes to an end at one minute and 23 seconds of round number three. He's your winner by tap out victory due to a triangle. In the red corner, Jonathan Leviathan Kaufman. And let's hear it one more time for T.J. Duran. All right, I'm here with your winner, John Kaufman. And that first round was a little rough for you, but it looked like things changed when you finally caught him with that knee to the midsection. Did you feel the shift of momentum there? Oh, he's so strong. It's just incredible. I couldn't tell anything. He, he hit me so hard. And every time it seemed like you almost had him with the arm bar almost three different times, he was able to just pull out. Did you feel like if you were able to wear him down and last that third round, you could finish him off? I have no idea. I gave up on that armbar attempt. He was defending them too good. All right, anybody out there you want to thank? Oh, so many people. My uncle and trainer, Glenn Schwartz, my girlfriend, Shelly Peterman, Cindy and Bell, Bill Koontz, who've always supported us, my brother and his girlfriend, Daniel and Becky, um, my bosses, Brian McKnight and Pete Copeland, for letting me have the night off, and uh, Jason Huss from Huss Combatives. He worked with me for the past four weeks on anything you could think of. Well, congratulations, and one more big round of applause for your winner, John Kaufman.